What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Pitch side with Parker. We got another Arsenal review. Nil nil. Arsenal and Crystal Palace. I'm just amazed I stayed awake throughout this whole game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not the type of brother to play with. See a lot of people acting like, oh, yeah. Old ball plays on like haters. We the young kings of this generation, oh, yeah. Real quick, just so y'all know, uh, we did pass 200 subscribers today, which is an awesome milestone. But the bigger news of that is that it means I am doing a giveaway. I told y'all it was either going to be 200 subs or at the end of the month. But y'all got it done. So shout out to y'all. Um, there is another video posted, so go check that out if you want to see the details and see how you could win a little bit of cash for yourself. But on to the Arsenal game. I will try to keep this brief because, like, for being honest, there's not a lot to say about this Arsenal game. Uh, nil nil after 90 minutes. Similar in a way to the game against Newcastle at the weekend, where that was also nil nil through 90 minutes. Um, after a great run of three games, Arsenal is now struggling a little bit more to create chances. And in this game, I feel like we just really felt the loss of Kieran Tierney. This is something I said a while ago, but. The reliance on Tierney, and he's great, and it's hard not to get carried away, but the history of how injury-prone he is makes me very, very nervous as an Arsenal fan. The amount of hopes and the amount of literally how much of our play has gone through him this season, especially when things have gone well, it just makes me nervous because it feels like there's no backup plan. Um, and that is part of the reason I actually was an advocate of holding on to say I class the match, although a lot of people did not agree with that. We saw how Maitland-Niles performed today at left back. Eventually, he had to be taken off so Saka could play there. It just makes me nervous. I'm not worried about Tierney right now. I think, for the most part, he was just being rested. Like, it seemed pretty precautionary for this game. But should he pick up another injury in the future? And based on his history, that's certainly a possibility. This just shows what Arsenal might look like without him. Under Mikel Arteta, Arsenal has been way too left-hand focused. And there's been a little bit more balance recently because Sokka's been able to move to the right. And then the combination with Tierney on the left provided a bit more balance and a bit more danger along with Smithrow and Lacazette through the middle. But those two specifically, I mean, they were just not in the game at all tonight. I don't know if it was just the way that Crystal Palace sets up with that really deep and narrow block where there's just not a lot of room at the edge of the area, which is where those two have really thrived in the past couple of games but they lacked a lot of creativity as well and just overall it was just a poor display from Arsenal um I was really impressed with Granit Xhaka I'm not a huge fan of his but I have to give respect where it's due every once in a while he pulls out these fantastic games and this was certainly one of them um made a lot of key tackles on Zaha and Benteke and Eze and you know Crystal Palace might feel a bit unlucky after this game. They're definitely going to be kicking themselves for some of the chances that they missed. A couple of poor decisions in transition from Benteke. You know, a couple shots that he couldn't quite convert. He had one beautiful header that was saved just wonderfully by Bern Leno. Um, he also was a big part of why Arsenal did not lose this game. But yeah, in the end, Arsenal just really didn't create enough. And it was a... We'll say it was a sobering performance after the way that things have been going recently. Although it wasn't a fantastic performance against Newcastle at the weekend, um, they still got the result. And then this one finally bringing that winning streak to an end. So, yeah, we'll see where do we go from here as Arsenal fans. But just pray to the heavens that Tierney and hopefully Martinelli can come back. And hopefully the few minutes that Partey got today will allow him to start potentially in the next couple of games. And uh, hopefully Arsenal will, will then get back to the winning ways. But yeah, that's all I got for this one. Hopefully we can get some Arsenal WSL fixtures soon. But uh, yeah, that's just looking like a complete mess right now. And I kind of miss some of those games as well. But um, yeah, we'll see. And in any case, I'll be back for the next Arsenal men's game. And as I said before, check out the giveaway going on on the channel. Go click that video and get that done. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.